All right, we got a 5 HP 24 valve body out of uh, an 05, uh, 03, sorry, Land Rover. And we're going to do a quick video on assembling this. I have it all down and cleaned. And this is uh, the one section of the valve body that, that houses the check balls or the little orifices, uh, the valves and springs, the dampers, little filter here. And very important, everything goes back where it belongs, especially these orifices with different colors because they have different size holes that will affect the way the transmission works. So what I normally do is just say the valve body is still together and the plate is still on. Okay, there's a, there's a gasket only that goes on this side, so it'll sit here. Uh, you can see sometimes the orifices stick to the, the plate because you can see them you know the colors and stuff sticking up so I try to poke everything down so it'll sit in the valve body and not get stuck to the plate but what I do when I take the last bolt out is I take the plate and I just kind of flip it up holding it in place just like this and see if there is anything on the plate uh, that I that got stuck accidentally so say for instance there was an orifice here you know, I'll know this goes right here because how the plate sits. So that's what I like to do and it's, you know, worked out good for me. Okay, so, like I said, I have everything set up, but you know, I want to try to, maybe I can just zoom in a little more so you can see these things. Let me just give it a shot here. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take the orifices uh, I put them out as they as they belong. So here's a little brown one that's going to go right there. Okay, then we have blue. That'll go right here. We have black orifice. All these are all different sizes. Again, very critical to how it works. And I kind of lay it on, on the rig how it comes out. Okay, so right next to this brown one, there's a check ball, which is right here. That'll go. Okay, down here we have a filter. That'll go right in there, and next to the filter is a white orifice, and next to which goes right here. Okay, so there's that, and then we're going to shoot across now to the other side, where there is a damper. Okay, this is the rubber damper uh, for the valve body, and when you get into these, this is a very important part to change because these are rubber dampers and they like to crack. So if it does, uh, if it does crack, you may get um, a symptom of a fail-safe condition after maybe heavier throttle, heavier than normal throttle, something like that. So another way you can check these, I would always change them, but another way you can check it just to let you know, if you have very little air, uh, if you have an air gun with, and you can supply very little air to it, it actually has a hole here and you can hold it tight and apply a little air and this thing will kind of expand. And if no air leaks out, it's good. But again, regardless, I would always change it. I did have one BMW one time that um, you can drive this thing normal and it'll thing work like a dream. Okay, once the guy would get on it, it would actually go into fail safe and get maybe give like a, a gear ratio error in second code. Uh, so. I was overhauling the transmission, really didn't see much when I got to the valve body, I says, let me check the damper. And of course I did it with the air and it had a little crack in it because I put some oil on it, put a little air in it, you can see it bubbling and actually that was my problem. So that's very important uh, to pay attention to that. Okay, and here's another orifice that will go right above the damper. Again, these is not set areas, everyone is different. Jaguars are different, BMW is different, Land Rover is different, so you really want to pay attention to where this stuff goes. Okay, here is the check valve, and I had it facing this way, so this is, the valve is going to go down first. Let me get this back out again. Okay, so this, whoop, this valve is going to go down. Get that in place. Okay. And now we have another purple orifice right before the blue one. So the purple 
will go here. Okay, and the blue one will go here. And you want to make sure that they're sitting flat because there's like a little cut in between and it can fall sideways and kind of stay like that, which of course won't do anything. So make sure everything is in correctly. Uh, and then we have another one. Uh, now this one I had facing this way, so this valve is going to face upward. And that will face like this. Okay, so now we're going to take our plate with the gasket. The gasket goes on one side. Let me just back out of here a little bit. Okay, now this is a, I only use original ZF stuff when I'm doing these transmissions, but I take the plate and the gasket and I put it against it. And then what I do is I kind of look at it and make sure there's no holes blocked and everything is good. I got a little bit of a piece of gasket shown here, but that's normal. Okay, so then what I do next is I take a little of the assembly lube and I put it on to hold the gasket in place so it doesn't move. Okay, then we're going to stick the gasket on. Line all the holes up. Okay, then we'll just go ahead and remember we have this valve here that this is the little piece is going to stick up through the plate. Okay, so let's find that. Okay, and that's pretty much how that's going to go. Just like that. All right, and then we have these uh, tension plates. Okay, these tension plates here sit across just like this, and then the bolts go in through the other side. Okay, so let's see. Okay, I'm all the way back down, so now I'm going to turn this valve body sideways. I don't really want to try not to move it too much. Bring it to the edge. And then I'm going to put one bolt in and tighten it up. We want to keep everything in place. Okay. So now at least I'm going to have this plate being held down and it won't it won't come out on me. So here's another tension plate. Okay, one has four and this one has three. So we're going to take another one. Okay, so now the plate's really not going to come down so we can lift it up and we can screw this thing right in. All right, and then put the rest of them in on this side. Okay, so now nothing's really gonna fall, so we can lay it down and put the others in. thing we got to do this is our upper section of the valve body okay and then we have a little uh, valve and spring again it's going to go there and then we're going to put the this will go this way and yeah, kind of look at the bolt patterns. All right, like that. Okay, so to continue, got these little lineup pins here. Okay, 
Now we're going to take this, and this goes on this side here. Make sure that this here stays kind of flat, so we'll do that. All right, and now lower uh, rear half of the valve body with the solenoids. I'm gonna put this on. That goes on just like that. And we got to get our bolts. of them on this side okay all right this one holds the wire for the input speed sensor that one's gonna go there Two left, so now we gotta take the line of pins out. Okay, here's one. Two. And the other two bolts. Okay, now we're going to put the lower front half on, and this has a, a line-up dowel, and that's going to go right here. All right, so this, we're just going to see if we can slide this on, and then you got to make sure you catch the manual valve, too. Okay, that looks good. All right, let's get our bolts for that. here is going to go like this to hold that wire on. You see they're kind of lined up but they're opposite. This one is facing out and this one is facing in. So now we're going to tighten those down a little bit and then we're going to torque them down.
just want to change uh, angle so I can kind of stand in front of the valve body as I'm torquing it down. So I just want to move the camera over a little bit. All right, so I'm going to torque this uh, valve body down to about uh, 70 inch pounds. There really is no uh, pattern or sequence, but what I normally do when I'm doing these aluminum valve bodies, I start from the center and work your way out. So let's do that. I got this thing to about 70 inch pounds. Now this is the lower front. Okay, now we'll turn this over and do the tension plates. Okay, these actually are still a little loose, so let's tighten them. Okay, I'm going to do the same thing. Okay, then this wire, this sticks outside of the case, your electrical connector goes in here. I'm going to change these two O-rings, and then this is going to get fed like this. Okay, and this will come around into this holder, and that'll stick down like that. This sticks out of the case, and this is the output speed sensor and that's uh, and that's about it on this uh, ZF 5 HP 24 valve body all right guys thanks for watching have a great day